is a uh, one of the large projects by the Cancer Genome um, uh, Research Network, and it aims to molecularly characterize and catalog all of the uh, molecular alterations that are present within a specific uh, tumor type. And this tumor type is actually called the lower grade glioma, so it's grades two and three uh, gliomas. It's actually a family of diseases that are thought to be histologically different. Um, and there's been a real problem with the diagnosis and treatment of these patients in particular uh, because there is not uh, good agreement on the histologic diagnosis. So in this case, the molecular, the new molecular knowledge that uh, could come out of a, a study like this could be really groundbreaking. The way we talk about these diseases, the way we study these diseases, the way we diagnose the patients, and the way they're treated. So it's a very high level molecular characterization of a family of closely related brain tumors in order, in order to um, really classify them and treat them differently. We used about six uh, advanced molecular platforms, mutations, deletions, amplifications, methylation, uh, copy number alterations, um, microRNA, gene expression. And what we found that if you take all of that information in aggregate and um, cluster it in an unsupervised fashion with no assumptions at all, you really, out of the six histology and grade classes for that tumor, you can distill them down to three molecular classes. So if you aggregate all the data, there's three very strong and non-overlapping families of these diffuse gliomas that come out with unsupervised methods, no histology involved at all. And then what we found further is that with those three families, um, we're gonna call them disease classes instead of families. There's really three molecular diseases. We have biomarkers that can discriminate them um, much better than histology can um, discriminate them. So it's really leading, I think, for one of the first times to a primary molecular classification of solid tumors.